crazy framer here again uh, in this video i'll show you how to make a cantilever that's where the second floor hangs over the first floor walls so instead of it just being straight like this with the rim board right on the side the joists are going to hang over this is going to be a foot so it's going to be stay like this for the first one foot six and then the joists will hang over but since all my joists are running this way i need to now turn them sideways so i marked out this joist with all my hangers <coughs> i'm going to take these hangers put them on here and then run the joists out this way so that they hang over a foot there so i'll show you how i do that so i got that cut where it needs to be now i'll put all these hangers on i'm going to use my strap shot this is going to be the edge of it this is where they're going to stop hanging over and these are just on layout from the end my glue gun make sure i'm good on the bottom in between the lines There's all the hangers on. Now I'll check what my joists are gonna be. From here to here, I'm 54 inches. But I want the joists to be 12 inches longer than that. So I'll make them 66. So I'll cut one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at 66. I'll cut them out all these ones here. it out where I want it on the walls I already know that this is on the edge of that joist so I went from here I went 19.2 inches X ahead we'll do the same thing here 19.2 X ahead the next diamond X ahead next diamond X ahead And then this is going to hang over for nine feet. But I'm not going to go nine feet because I'm going to sheet both sides of the joists with three eighths OSB. So that's three quarters. So I'll go eight foot, 11 and a quarter. X there and then eight feet X there. And then that'll match what I got there. So now I'll take my glue. Put a little bit in each hanger. Put all my joists in here, nail them to that wall. With this gun now. I'm just gonna give these a stomp. Then 
the interior. Before I put this one in, I'm going to have to do something to it. So this floor on the second floor is going to come in one foot one. One foot one and there's going to be a joist right there. And then it's going to go across like this. And then the joists are going to turn again and go the same way. So I'm going to have to put this joist in with some hangers on it. And then this joist in with some hangers on it gonna sit in that hanger and then there'll be two joists in the middle so I'll put a hanger on right here okay now that I have those two hangers on this is gonna be the joist that's gonna sit in this one and hang over a foot this is gonna be the joist that sits in this one but it's gonna go flush on the end the rim board will be flush on that end so I'm gonna need two joists in between here so to put these hangers on, I'll check what my layout is over here. These are my layout marks. If I butt into this joist, I get 18 inches X that way. So since these two are both gonna butt into that side, I'm gonna go 18 inches X that way. And then 19 two from there. That's where the hangers are gonna go. And then to lay out this joist, the same thing, 18 inches X this way, 19.2 X this way. Okay, now since I have to put these hangers on this joist, I have nothing to nail to. So I'm gonna fill it with these plywoods I made. Fill both sides. So there's those two with the hangers on them. Already got glue in there. I'll glue this one. And I'll stick these two in. This one goes here. goes here and I'll check what these are we'll go a little short we'll go 47 Just cut two at 47 glue the hangers and stick them in there have to finish my rim board I already know that this one is eight foot eleven and a quarter eight foot eleven and a quarter I'll hang it on there and then I'll make this one 
go from here to the end of this joint 50 and a quarter so I'll cut those 50 and a quarter and 8 foot 11 and a quarter and we got these cut now I'll just nail them on this one I'm gonna stay flush with the 2x6 and then I'm gonna sheet this with OSB This one, stay flush on the end of that joist. Just gonna put a couple to hold it, and I'll make sure I'm flush over here. on the top now I can make all these make sure my end is good I'm in a you have a cantilever like this so you have to put blocking on the exterior wall with these joists you can also use a 2x4 on the top and bottom but the joist plan show it like this so I'll do it like this uh, I'm actually not gonna nail the top because that could squeak later I'll just make sure to glue and screw this down really good with the plywood And that is how you frame a cantilever. Hangs over a foot off the side. Time to have a beer.